my belly. <laughs> the birds are in. Dominic made sure that they all, he dipped their beaks in the water, which we do like as soon as you get them home, you dip them in the water. And now we'll get them some food. Okay, it has been uh, three days since we put the broilers out into the yard and I can show you here where they started off. You can see here that they have got all of their poop on the ground there and every day Dominic moves the tractor so that they have access to fresh clean grass they like to pick at, eat and eat the bugs out of and they've been doing really well. I saw a chip was They're very large. I just, I don't think that we're gonna let them go this big again or beyond where they are right now again. We can't really change the date that we rented out the uh, the plucker and we just got, we, we made plans. I've got, I've got a class I have to attend. So there's just different things that we're doing. Size of turkeys. Getting there. Yeah. Maybe we should take one out and do it for Thanksgiving. Pluck it by hand? Yeah. Hmm. Why not? It was about the size of Thanksgiving. Just take the biggest one. We'd have to do it um, like Soon. tomorrow. Because yeah. it'd have to rest. It's easy to do one. You could do that in the kitchen. Pluck it? Well, no, we could scald them. I can bring up my little camp stove and boil up some water and scald them and pluck them outside. Yeah. yeah we could do that. And then yeah. we'll just put a cooler full of ice and put them in there. Hi, you guys. Yeah. Okay, you gotta do it tomorrow then. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. There you go. Then we get the experience of plucking one by hand. Yeah. See just how painful it is. Yeah, okay. Then Rosemary can have a very fresh chicken. It is the second weekend in October, which means that it is Canadian Thanksgiving. We have Thanksgiving on Monday. So we have decided instead of going out and buying a turkey that we were going to process one of the larger birds that we have. Our birds are due to be processed next weekend on the 16th, but they're definitely ready to go now. I don't think we're gonna let them go this long oh, again. But them? today, Dominic is going to process just one of them um, so that we can put it in the cooler and have it rest and cooled for two days. And then we can cook it on Sunday. It's currently Thursday. So Dominic is trying to get the uh, burner working. It's having a little bit of trouble with it. Um, but this is the first time we've done like a, a, like a processing all by hand. We're gonna have the chicken plucker next week, but because we're just doing one bird, we figured we'd just throw the pot so we can scald him in there, even though it looks like it might actually be, uh, he might be a bit too big for this pot. And scald him in there, pluck him by hand, and then put him in the cooler. That's the plan. Right now, I've got to run inside. It's now Sunday afternoon, so it is Canadian Thanksgiving Sunday. The chicken has been resting. This is the third day, so we're gonna cook it today. And Dominic's sister is here from Newfoundland, so she brought over some salt beef and some peas for peas pudding, and we're going to make a traditional Newfoundland jigs dinner. Um, I have had jigs dinner before, but I've never made it before, so I'm excited. They went out for a drive to see the colors, and I'm gonna try to get started on dinner. Wait until you see how big this bird is. 
anytime I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking, I'm probably in my pajamas, so that's just how I roll, okay? But um, this bird, we had it in the cooler for a couple of days and then I moved it into the fridge, but it's so big that I had to wrap up the roaster because it doesn't even fit in there. It is huge, so I can't cook it in this. I've got to cook it in another roasting pan, but this is a huge bird. Not only is it a huge bird, but we've got 27 other birds that are going to be growing for the next week before we process them uh, in six days from now. So we're going to have some big birds. I've chopped up like my carrots and my onions here and I have to rinse off the bird and because Dominic plucked it by hand, he said that there's still a few like feathers in there. So I'm gonna make sure that all the feathers are gone and that it is rinsed off and ready to go. It's like a lot of like the, the shafts of the, uh, the feathers. A few of those are stuck in there. I think it might've been because we didn't have like a big pot for scalding. We used like a pot that we had, but it probably wasn't big enough. So Dominic had to like put it in on one side and then turn it around and do it on the other side. So when you scald it, um, the feathers like they'll loosen up and then you can, you can pull them out. But if you don't scald it enough, then they don't come out very well. So I think that maybe it wasn't scalded enough just cause maybe the pot wasn't big enough, but it's fine. chicken this meat has uh, got to its final destination and it is it was about eight pounds and it took a long time to cook but it like it tastes like like a juicy turkey well it tastes like chicken but it's so good and then we have all of the stuff we've got the salt beef and the savory dressing and gravy and more this is the salt beef out of the the pot peas pudding which I've never had in Nova Scotia but it's really popular in Newfoundland and it's really really tasty especially with gravy and we have mashed potatoes and blueberry pudding and carrots from the garden and then the chicken and it all looks so good and the turnip and mashed turnip as well and it all looks really really good. All right, how, how is it Dominic? Oh spectacular totally it's been well I guess I had it summer when I was home but I only get chicks dinner once or twice a year now. Mm, that's right. So fan. Fantastic. And where I come from, gravy is a beverage. <laughs> Mom, I'm washing. I'll get you one, baby. Now you might say, oh, it looks really beige and everything, <clears throat> but it is very tasty. That's because of all the gravy. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we haven't processed all of the birds yet. We only processed that one, um, but we want to show you kind of the journey of uh, beginning to end for these meat chickens. Um, we had the dinner on Sunday. It was really beautiful. The chicken it was so big that we've been eating it for leftovers and lunches and sandwiches and we've had several meals out of it. Um, we really appreciate it and we're so happy to have these birds and we're going to be processing these ones this weekend and we just wanted to share with you just kind of what it was like for the life cycle of the birds. But. We will see you next Sunday. Bye.